Hi, this is Mr. Adamac, and I'm back. I know I haven't recorded a video in a while, but um, today um, I'm going to show you how to do something really cool. I found out how to do yesterday, actually. Um, so I've had this dilemma where I have videos and movies on my computer, and I don't want to watch them on my computer. I want to watch them on the TV, um, just like a little bit bigger screen. I know it's not much bigger, as you can see, but um, I just wanted to watch it on the TV. Um, a little better experience, I guess. But yeah, um, I ha I bought a uh, mini DVI to video um, adapter to plug into my computer, but then you have to run it all the way with cables to your TV. And I've always just wanted to do it wirelessly. Well, I figured out how to, um, and it makes it much simpler. So yeah, uh, you do need, for, for the process I use, because um, there's not very many that can do it wirelessly, um, probably like two, um, but... <laughs> you need an Xbox 360. Now if you've ever owned a PC and an Xbox 360 you know exactly how to do this. You just um, I'll show you how in a little bit but um, you could never do it with a Mac until this program came out. Um, what it's called is called Connect 360 and it's made by this company called Null River I believe. Yeah, um, And it does cost $20. Um, there are torrents out there on the internet where you can get it for free but I don't rec recommend that because that is illegal but um, you can do that, um, but yeah, you just click buy now, or there's a free trial, which gives, you, which lets you watch, like, five movies and, like, a hundred songs or something like that, but yeah, um, this process, you don't get, like, a screenshot, like, of your, com of your computer, it's not like your, um, like, when you connect a video out, it's not like that, it's just you can watch, uh, movies, look at your pictures and listen to iTunes music, that's about it. Um, it's not like you can go surf the web on your TV with this with this process. You can do it. Um, there are other ways, but um, wirelessly, there really isn't any other ways um, to do. Like uh, the only the only options I can think of to wirelessly watch videos from your computer on your TV. There's only two I can think of, and that's Apple TV, and that's your Xbox 360 with this method. Um, but yeah, this is. The cheaper method, it's only $20 instead of, what, $300 is the Apple TV or something like that. And this does everything the Apple TV does, I believe, except you can't really rent movies. Uh, yeah, you can't really rent movies, but you can get Netflix, and that's a lot cheaper than Apple TV, and you can do that on your Xbox. So, uh, I think this is a completely better way. It's everything Apple TV does um, to buy an Xbox. Is it, it is about the same price as uh, Apple TV, but um, it is... Uh, does a lot more. You can play games, of course. Yeah, let's get to it. So you download this program. Um, it's called Connect 360, um, and it, it's not an application like um, on your little bar or anything like that. It's in your system preferences. And let's go back here. It will show. All right, this is what your system preferences looks like. Um, and here it is, right there. Connect 360. You click on it, and this is what it looks like. And you click Start, and that's it. Now you turn on your Xbox. And we'll wait for that to boot up. Um, just a little uh, heads up here. Um, the easiest way to do it is through your iTunes movies. And uh, if you want your iTunes to look this neat um, with all these cover art and everything and ripping it from DVDs or stuff like that instead of downloading it from iTunes or um, the digital copy. And that's the sound it makes when it discovers an Xbox. But if you want to look this neat, check out my uh, previous videos on how to get cover art for your uh, ripped DVDs to your computer and uh, download it if you shall take that path of illegal pirater. Alright, uh, so we got the Xbox over here. I believe if this camera is on, and it looks like it is. Go up to my Xbox. Um, I'm not sure if you need an Xbox Live membership to do this because I have one and I haven't tried it without it, but I think you do need internet access, so I would imagine you need an Xbox Live. But you go to Video Library, and before, um, it wouldn't have this last option here of your computer, but that's my computer right there. Um, let's see if when I click stop, it'll still recognize your computer, but I'll show you what happens. All right, so you click on your computer, and it'll say this, no videos found, or um, click on your computer and it say no videos found, of course, and it can't connect. Well, we'll click out of that real quick, and we'll go to back to start on our computer over here. And once it's started, we'll go to the video library again. Click on that, and there's my videos. 
and I just go to iTunes movies and here's all my movies um, here's some TV shows that I have of course it doesn't separate between TV shows and movies but it's alright um, so I'll just scroll down here to some Star Wars because so I'm presenting a little Revenge of the Sith and you click play now the way it does this is it streams it directly from your computer so it does take a little time to buffer in the beginning but once it buffers in the beginning it takes no more than a minute um, it should be good all the way through so here it goes now I'll turn up the volume a little bit once it buffers in the beginning like I said it shouldn't stop or be choppy throughout the movie but it looks great as long as the video quality you have on your computer is good um, it should look if it's DVD quality of course it should look like a DVD is playing um, this program really is great it does look spectacular for streaming directly from a computer it's super quick um, so yeah there's Star Wars so yeah that's how you do it um, if you don't know how to if you ever hooked up your iPod and wanted to listen to music through your iPod same thing um, you go over to media down to select music and you select your computer instead of your iPod and you go to your artists and this is coming through your iTunes on your computer and it's streaming directly through that I might have to quit out of this movie to actually do it yeah let's quit out of that alright now let's try it let's quit out of all this stuff alright now let's try it you click on your middle Xbox button there you go select music select your computer artists there it is do a little cross the universe soundtrack I guess and there's music and the great thing about this you can play it while you're playing games um, put your music through your TV instead of through your MacBook Pro speakers shitty speakers so uh, that's how you do it um, like I said 20 bucks Watch all the videos on your computer, listen to music through your TV from your computer instead of on your computer. Um, you can look at photos from your iPhoto albums. Um, that's how you do it, Connect360. I'll put the link in the description to download it. And uh, if you have any questions, PM me or put a comment on this video. And thanks for watching. This was Mr. Adamac.